she has oddly enough been possessed before. All of a sudden, she started laughing and she looks at me and she goes, take this away, it's burning my pocket. Do you know who committed the arson? It was one of the 15 people in there. Mid-shower, the water is scolding hot. I had burns down my back for a really long time. Go to jump out and he is standing right outside the shower. Look at the sparse seating. We have ghosts apparently in the crowd, just single seats reserved. Why are you so by yourself, dude? Bro, can you can you make friends? Can you scoot over? Oh. Question: Are you single? Are you single? Wait, scoot back go over. over yeah, go over. Back. One more. Go one more over. One more over. One more seat over. You're single. Are you single? Okay, All can right, you go back one row? Go back one row. <laughs> can you go back one row? Go back one row, please. Is this please? a dating game okay. now? Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? You looked at him like, not for you. <laughs> Are you single? I am single. I was kind of fancying Corey though. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go sit down there. <laughs> this is like a dating game now. I thought this was supposed to be like a spooky podcast show. Well, we'd probably start with the K2. Maybe walk around the sand on the beach. Maybe blindfold me and <laughs> tie me to a chair. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe try the Estes method. Come back three days later. <laughs> ask if you got any activity. He would like scratch me all over. And <laughs> no, that's the demon's job. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah that's the demon doing that. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is fun. We, so we're on day 10 of this tour. Uh, we started in San Diego and mm -hmm. now we are in Martinsburg, West Virginia at the yes, Martinsburg sir. Roundhouse. But it's just a really cool environment to be in. Like, it's like oddly beautiful for being a haunted location. No, dude, it is. Dude, we were talking earlier, like, imagine having a party in here. Like, this looks like a party area, dog. We've had this weird thing happening with us on the tour. Maybe it's not weird. It's probably kind of expected. Since day one of the tour, we've had mechanical issues with, like, everything you could ever imagine. We've had taillights go out for no reason. We've had tires go flat for no reason. Tires on the truck tires on the trailer. Mm -hmm. Then yesterday we had our uh, side view mirror on the motorhome just vibrate itself completely loose. Uh, our motorhome has like jacks that like keep it level when we sleep. Apparently those weren't working anymore and they were like dragging on the ground. Yeah. Then the taillights in the motorhome went out and we were at a point where we weren't going to make it today unless we could find someone to fix the motorhome. Mm -hmm. And we had to keep calling shop after shop after shop. And everyone's like, we don't do this. We don't do this. We don't do this. And finally one guy answered the phone and he was like, okay, where are you? I'm like, Hillview Manor. He was like, okay. And I'm like, I'm on tour right now. Like, we don't have time. He's like, what tour could you be doing at Hillview Manor? <laughs> he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, we go haunted location, haunted location. And he goes, Elton? <laughs> and I'm like, he was like, I was like, yeah, the overnight channel. He's like, I watch your channel. And he was like, God bless, man. I'll be there like an hour and a half. <laughs> What if, what if what if we were a different tour? Like he's like, what are you doing there? It's like we're the Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I watch you. <laughs> I will be there in an hour and a half. We we set up for the show. He actually shows up like an hour and a half later. Uh, but Corey had the first encounter with him. Uh, okay, so he brought. It was his son, right? Yeah, it was his yeah. son. Okay, so I I didn't know this, and they pulled up in an ambulance. Okay, I guess, you know, that's the whip. You know, I respect it. Very cool car. And I'm walking to the RV, and I see an ambulance parked behind the RV. And I'm like, okay, that's a little strange. So I start walking. I'm getting closer and closer. And I just see a little kid just staring at me like this. I'm sorry for everyone listening. You're not going to be able to see this facial I'll, expression. Well, you do the facial expression, and then I'll describe it. Okay, okay, ready? I'm walking. This is what I see. So I'm like, okay, is this a ghost? <laughs> That's my first thought. So can I just quick do the expression for me one more time, but look at me while you do it? Okay, that looks like, I'm going to describe this as best as I can. Um, you, wanted, you wanted an Xbox for Christmas, but you got a PlayStation, and you're going to murder your parents, but first tell them you love them. That's what that expression that, says yeah, to that, me. That, that was a great, that was that, great That detail. is exactly what it is. So me being like, is this a ghost? I'm like, Corey, wave to him wave to the little kid, say hi. So I smile and I start waving and he goes like this. <laughs> he doesn't change. No. He, do he just kept staring like that. But it turns out the little kid was a genius. 
he like fixed the RV. Yeah. Okay. So we've been dealing, we've been dealing with these problems for like five days. And the kid, by the way, didn't know what was happening. There's just a child in the motorhome. Like he didn't introduce himself. He I just, just walked in. He just I was like, it's the ghost. There, there's just some kid pressing buttons. and like, we can't figure it out. He's like, it's the fuse. Like, I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, it, I was like, I don't think it could be the fuse. Like they work sometimes. It doesn't. He looks at me and goes, it's the fuse. And then we find out like two hours later, it was a damn fuse. It was the fuse. This kid is like 11 years old and he's like operating our motor home. And apparently he drove the ambulance home. No way. It's no, uh, that's what I heard. He, is that what they said? Yeah, that he drove. He drove it home. <laughs> Are you, is he allowed to do that? Is, Are we allowed to talk about this? I don't know. I don't want to get him in trouble. He fixed the RV. They're following us. Like they're attaching to but the it, items we But have. it makes it easier for the next investigation. Yeah, you know I mean, we got we got a little bit more we got a little bit more juice in the tank. Yeah, you know what I mean. We got a little extra gas to burn off. You know what I mean. Yeah, but dog, like like dead ass, like twelve hours ago, like a spirit continuously kept, like I was hearing it. Like All right, I well was, now, well, it great. Was loud. So now we don't have to travel to investigate. <laughs> we we gonna start doing overnight videos in the in the in the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> We like, well, it's time to go film. Just it, open the front door. Yeah, exactly. We don't even need to rent places out like these anymore. <laughs> we just pull up in the motorhome and go hop in. Yeah. Hey, look, now you can finally do both. You can investigate and get McDonald's at the same time. Oh, that's Just drive the motorhome through the drive through <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a great idea. Yeah, I think it would work. It's like we're all sitting in a circle doing a seance. We're all like holding hands. We have the REM pod in the middle. And we're like, if there's anything in here, can you please make this device go off? Also, I want a number three plane, Elton. <laughs> oh, and make it a large. Yeah, make Man, it a large. Do you want anything? Beep, 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 beep. Okay, sorry. Yeah, he said he wants nuggets. Make he wants nugget. nuggets. By the way, the reason I, I, I kind of... Every time these things happen, we talk about it uh, is because I want there to be documentation that this has progressed at this wild level in only 10 days. And when day 27 happens and we're like, you hear the news story. It's like a, a Winnebago has levitated 18 feet onto a bridge carrying two YouTubers. You'll be like, holy shit, it really happened. Like, you'll know. Like, that's honestly a big part of the reason why I like talking about this every time it happens. Because, like, it's really getting out of hand. And it's going to be pretty cool as it gets bigger and bigger. What? Why are those swinging? Because there's wind. Okay. You see what I deal with? It's we have no we, other ones are swinging. It's because that's the closest two. to the door. There's two doors right oh, there. Oh, it's a giraffe. Yeah, it's a it's a giraffe. It's dude. a giraffe. It's <laughs> a giraffe. Okay. 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 All right. So normally, normally we start off with something kind of silly and goofy and fun to do, and we haven't done this yet, but. <laughs> We came up with a new game, okay, every, and we'd every, love to play it with right, y'all. Everyone knows, like, F, Mary Kill, right? That game. <laughs> so what's our version now? We're, we, we came up with a game called Haunt, Mary, Purgatory. So one of them has to haunt you, one of them you have to marry, and one of them you send to Purgatory. Yeah. Or should we keep it? Should there still be an F, uh, an F in there? And wait, I'm sorry. So wait, you should wait. still have sex with one. <laughs> uh, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so you have to... You have to one. Oh my god! Yeah, one, marry one, and the other one has to haunt you. Uh, is this is this what we're doing? Yeah, I think we're doing. I think we're doing. No, Mary we're haunt. supposed to. We're, sp we're supposed. Purgatory is so boring, though. If you just send someone to purgatory, they're just in the middle of nowhere. We're so supposed to hunt ghosts, not make love to them. <laughs> well, we might get even more activity <laughs> if we start, you know, whispering a couple sweet nothings to them. Oh all right, so we asked god. all of you to write well-known uh, paranormal things or images or whatever. <laughs> Wait, is, is that is that the? That's a Wendigo. Is that the haunted? That is uh, like the Native American yeah. creepy crawler thing. Like the crawls on all fours. Yeah, dude. Ooh, it's Who's all... gonna marry wait, a Wendigo? Wait, wait, wait. It's already on all fours. So marry. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do I have to say which one right now? Well, no. You gotta. We gotta wait. Okay. Okay. okay so okay. it's it's a Wendigo. <laughs> okay. Uh, sh uh. Oh no, Slender Man. Demons baby? Oh, demons baby. Demon baby. Okay, a demon baby. You can't. Okay, the, you no. Can't, and you can't marry that one. The, the demon baby's going to Wait, purgatory. I kind of want to be haunted by a demon baby. What? Gaga goo goo. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you choose? Okay, so. I'm, I'm going to say the demon baby's going to purgatory. Wait, no, we're not doing purgatory anymore. You have to one. You have to one. So are you the Slenderman, the demon baby, or what was the other one? Oh, when the, to go? When to go? Come on, do you have to fuck one? No. Who are you? Well, a dog. No, this no. is supposed to be. Haunted. Look, I'll be honest. I wouldn't want to fuck the Slenderman anyway. He's just bony. You got nothing like to grab onto. 
You know what I mean? Oh like that's my not, God. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like if you want to make love to someone, you need a little, it's not just me bones. Me. Okay. Can I give my answer? Yeah. I am going to f the Wendigo. I am going to. Oh my God. I want the demon baby to haunt me. Okay. And then I'm going to marry the Slender Man so we can be a progressive spiritual couple. Aww. Well, that is kind of cute. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Thank you. Okay. I like how I got a round of applause for saying I'm going to f*** a Wendigo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this game definitely uh, went a different we, direction. We I literally were was. intentionally trying to avoid saying uh, and now that's all we're saying. So, all right, what are you doing? Can we say make love instead? <laughs> you know, dude, you can't make love to a demonic entity. <laughs> Why can't you? Because they're demonic. You make evil. You want to make evil? <sighs> Is that how we're referring to it? Instead of yeah, make, make evil. You want to make evil? Make evil. That's what we'll call it. All right, it. what are you what are you doing in this circumstance? Okay, here I'll um, lay them out again. You have Slenderman, I guess, Demon's Baby, and a Wendigo. I guess I'd rather be haunted by a Wendigo. Why? I could. I I don't know. I feel like I could like get on his back and we could go on adventures. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ride him like a minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like he's like, let's go to Walmart! And it's just, <laughs> we go to Walmart, um, I guess I would... You, I think you... I would, um, I would make evil with the Slender Man. Not the Demon Baby? No. You sure? No. Come on, how uh, can I, I coax feel like, you into I feel this? like Slender Man's misunderstood. Okay. You know? And then I guess I would marry a Demon Baby. That's kind of worse because you know what you do in marriage. No, we actually, we don't believe in that. You, wait, you don't have sex till marriage or after marriage? Or, no. No? No. Never. Never. What do you, uh, walk me through your, uh, your demon baby marriage. What'd you say? Walk me through your demon baby marriage. Um, what does well, your wedding, I, well, what does your wedding feel, look like? Well, I feel like the demon baby would actually crawl. <laughs> like the day <laughs> we get married, we can't really walk, you know, to the altar. But, um, I don't know. I feel like I could, I could, I could change him. You think so? I feel like I could change the demon baby. How, how would you change him? I don't know. I'd be like, you know, don't be a demon no more. I'm going to leave you. And then demon baby would be like, okay, you know, <laughs> give me a chance. Like, you know, maybe, maybe if I can show the demon baby, like what life's really about, you know, he could change. I think you just have to be careful because when you would burp the demon baby, it would just vomit acid all over you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, most likely. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, should we do round, round two? I was really trying to get you to say you're going to have sex with a demon baby. Oh, skinwalkers. Okay. We got skinwalkers. Okay, skinwalkers, mothman, or... Or uh, Goat Man. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So we got Skinwalkers. Skinwalker, Goat Man, Mothman. So we got Skinwalker, Goat Man, Mothman. And then we had, what would you say? Skin, skin skinwalker. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then what does this one say? Oh, this one says Skinwalker. The audience is repeatedly skinwalker. telling us we're not supposed to say that out loud. Okay. So it's spelled S as in Skinwalker, <laughs> K as in Skinwalker. I as in in Walker, W as in Walker of skin, Skinwalker. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. We're about to have like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what a Skinwalker kind of sounds like? What? Just like uh, an old, uh, like crippled demon, who's just using a walker made out of skin. <laughs> the Skinwalker. Yeah, the skin Wait, walker. we keep saying it. Yeah. Wait, we're really not supposed to say it. Why this. not? I don't Wait, know. Wait, why? why? Why is it bad? <laughs> oh, Skinwalker, 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 Skinwalker. <laughs> It brings. It Can brings we turn the speakers up louder and let's just wait? What, yeah, what do like, they do when they appear? Is it like, like you two? They yeah. look like us. Like okay, so if we see any new people walk <laughs> in, uh, we might have to do something about that. Skinwalker, stop saying what, it. What, dude? It's fun. okay. Um, All right, which one? I would probably marry. Mm, what's that one say? Ooh, wait, hold on. This is kind of a. Oh boy, how, how old's this audience? Stop. Shit. Um. Okay. 90s? Okay, I think... I, th I think... What are you about to say? Hold on. Let me... Okay, so I, one of them has to haunt me, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go... The Mothman has to haunt me, because every time I see the light, it's just gonna get zapped. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go that. I think I'm gonna marry... I'm gonna marry the Goat Man. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm going to f the Skinwalker, because... Make evil. Because I'm gonna make evil to the Skinwalker, because it's gonna make me say its name every time we're in bed together. So then more. And then there's just going to be more. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> oh Look, dude, if I'm going to hell, might as well make it fun on oh the way out. You know what I mean? God. This I is already a wild show. Dude, you imagine the Mothman? Like, oh, I'm going to get light, light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I could. Okay. Okay. I think I would have. What's that one second? That's Goat Man. I would have the Goat Man haunt me. Imagine it's just like Kobe Bryant, which is like the goat. the goat. You know what I mean? Just the goat man. Yeah, I'd be cool with that. Okay. Yeah, then. I'd have the goat man haunt me. Why do you want the goat man to haunt you? I don't know. What would be the worst thing that happens? You're just like going, like you're sleeping. That exactly. You're falling asleep and you're like, meh. Wait, what kind of goat? Have you seen those little goats where you like you scare them and they just lock up? And oh they yeah, just and fall they fall over. Yeah. You're just like, <laughs> and then just tip over. <laughs> that, yeah. like, I, that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. He's like, bah, and you're like, ah, and, like <laughs> and then it just falls Every over. Every time you hear it, you just scream back, and it's done. Ooh, like a mountain goat. That'd be a fun one. Yeah, I'd marry the Mothman. You would marry the Mothman. Yeah, I feel like the Mothman is also misunderstood. You it kind of sounds like a nursery rhyme. Like marry the Mothman. That's you know like mean? a tongue twister, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're also going to make evil to the Skinwalkers. What? Because I have to. Well, think about it. Like, I, ho I hope it's a lamb skinwalker. I should have whistled for it. <laughs> wait, why? Wait, why whistle? It draws them in more. Oh, especially at night. <laughs> I like how they started with "Don't say it." To here's how you get more whistle. <laughs> you do you understand how quickly? Are skinwalkers popular? Wait, what here? if that was a skinwalker that said it? She's like, make sure you whistle. <laughs> <laughs> All the empty seats aren't empty anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I this this is a good one. Shadow Man. <laughs> Wait. Shadow Man. Yo, this one's so funny and like my instincts to it's what I want to say I have to hold back. Hold on. Sirens, aka the uh, Starbucks logo. Mm. Um, yes. And then a beave coon. What? Which is uh, a head of a beaver and rump of a raccoon. <laughs> That just sounds adorable. I'd have that haunt me. You know what that sounds like? Who's a, who's a little character in Guardians of the Galaxy? Rocket. 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 It really just sounds like evil Rocket. <laughs> That's what that sounds Head of a beaver and rump of a raccoon. I'd, I'd have that haunt me. I'd be okay with that. I'd make him my pet. Like, I'd just give him food. I bet he'd like me. Okay. I think I would have to uh, marry the sirens. Okay. Because that way, if they ever annoyed me, I would just go on land. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Just step away for a minute. Yeah. So what are you, what are you doing here? Sh shadow man right here. Shadow man. I think I'd marry the shadow man. You would marry the shadow man? Yeah. Because like as time's gone by, I've had a lot of mediums tell me and they've kind of said like the shadow man doesn't have to be like something bad. You know what I mean? Like the shadow man could be like, I don't want to say like a guardian angel. Oh, is that, is that, a, is that a beef? <laughs> Wait, is, is it real? Yo, hold on. I think I want to f*** that now. What? <laughs> Yo, that thing looking back at it though, it's like, hey, hey. I'd marry the Shadow Man. I don't know. The Shadow, honestly, like, Shadow Man terrified me when I was a little kid. But, like, you know, as I've gotten a lot older, like, he, I don't think he's really done anything bad to me. Like, what if it was just, like, a type of spirit constantly checking up on me to make sure that I'm okay? Don't you think that'd be the worst marriage you could ever have? You're like, hey, would you mind doing the dishes? And he just evaporates through the wall. <laughs> like, you'll never get him to, you're just trying to put a ring on his finger and you just can't find it anywhere yeah but imagine like you know we go to walmart and it's like you know when like some like really like top-notch cereals on the top shelf and i'm like oh i gotta go get a worker like i could just ask my husband the shadow man to grab it mm. or if you're ever like sun tanning and you like run out of sunscreen you could just like hey man would you mind just could you stand in front like of me walking out the light for me real quick <laughs> yeah okay so what is your final answer so then who are you making evil to a siren or a beef coon the siren and then you're gonna be haunted by a beef coon yeah because he's gonna be my pet little rocket you're just gonna have a pet pet rocket yeah i'll just give him bread <laughs> like you just think about it he comes like running in the room and i'm like oh what if you can train him to go and retrieve and find other spirits like a like a hellhound or a hunting hound or a dog oh. you just like send out your beef coon <laughs> you show up to like Waverly Hills and you're like, go get him, boy. Go get him. <laughs> you, you open the cage. All right, should we last, last round and then we'll get into the stories that have been submitted? Okay. All right, let's see. Who do we got here? Oh, Shadow Man. All right, well, let's, <laughs> we'll eliminate it if it's a repeat then. Oh, wait, no, you have a top hat, Shadow Man. People really want to see the Shadow Man. Are they all just Shadow Mans? Shadow Man. No, I okay. really wish they all said Skinwalker and I just had to keep saying it over and over and over again. Ooh. Oh my God, Skinwalker. <laughs> I literally said I wish they all said Skinwalker. This says, uh, Death Eater. Ooh, Harry Potter reference. That's in uh, Harry Potter? Yeah, dude. I've seen, I swear I've seen all the Harry Potters. Apparently what? not, dude. What is a Death Eater? Wait. They, they're the things what? that are like big black shadow ghosts. And they just like swarm over oh, you. Oh, okay. Those are cool. Everyone say bless you. That doesn't work. On, that just angers me. <laughs> <laughs> you just continue sneezing. Achoo, 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 Dude, achoo. it's all. It's all. I'm amazed. No, no lady in white. No like uh, apparitions we've ran into. No Annabelle. No Ronald no. McDonald. Here we go. Now we have three completely new ones. We now have Death Eater, Grim Reaper, 
and La Llorona. La, La Llorona sounds like a, a. I'm already I'm already dating uh, my girlfriend's Mexican, so I already feel like that would be a great marriage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a yeah. little a little attitude. <laughs> yeah. Um, why can't I have kids? She killed her kids. Wait, hold on. So why do you want me? Wait, wait. So why do you want me to have kids? If you no, you said have kids. Yeah. Why do you want me to have kids? Just some family fun. <laughs> and then we'll have a demon baby after it's died, and then Corey will have sex with it. Right. No. <laughs> Cut that out of the podcast. Do not leave that in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I would marry the Grim Reaper. Why? Like, if we're married, he wouldn't want me to, like, you know, like, die. Well, the only way you could be married is if you're both dead. That's not true at all. I think so. Is that how it works? Probably. Um, I guess yeah. I'll be haunted by... You want, You don't want to have sex with La Llorona? Just wear a condom and you're fine. <laughs> it's, no, it's make evil. Oh, make evil. Yeah, make evil. Just wear protection. I get... Oh. Spiritual and sexual protection. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a very different show than we normally do. <laughs> they asked for it. We, we were going to go purgatory, and they were like, no, you have to f*** one of them. This was their decision. We tried to come out. We tried to keep this family... No, I did not. I was the one who said I, we limit. We changed it to purgatory, and then you all were like, change it. And I was like, all right. So you asked for this. Don't blame me. Um... <laughs> yeah, we can rerun the tape, yeah, and I am still 100% accurate. Can we run it accurate. back, Marty, real quick? You, I am still 100% accurate. That is exactly how this went down. Carry on. Okay, and then I guess um, I would be haunted by La Llorona. Okay. You know, because I, I don't have any babies. True. Right? So, okay. like, she's not really going to do anything to me. What's the other one? You said you're going to, you said you're, so you have to make sex to whatever's in your hand. To now. the Death Eater. Make evil. Yeah, you're making evil to so a So I'm Death making eater. evil to the Death Eater. Yeah. 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 But making evil could be cheat kisses. You know what I mean? It doesn't have, you don't have to go all the way. I just, you know, like, hey, good morning, Death Eater, like, and then just that's it. Yeah. I need to remind you that you said that you would marry the Grim Reaper because you'd be the best husband ever. Yeah. But you just also said you would cheat on the Grim Reaper. So I'm going to die. Yeah, dude. Okay. All <laughs> yeah, right. Bad decision making. Great on that one. game, Elton. I, I love this I game. I feel like I would want to marry the Grim Reaper because those adventures would be so much fun. Okay. You know what I mean? Just going around and be like, you're going to die. But that's it, my husband. Well, you know, we'll take you out too. <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay. Grim Reaper is the marriage. I think I'll be haunted by the Death Eater. Okay. I've always wanted to feel like a wizard. Okay. And that's the closest I'll ever get. And then I will have, I will make evil to La Llorona. Aw. That's fair. That's sweet of you. Okay. That's very sweet This of game you. started off fun and funny and ended kind of serious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe next time we do it, we'll just do the haunt Mary purgatory. Yeah, maybe we actually stick to the yeah. plan. Everyone goes, no. I do like how easy it is to say Skinwalker now. And look, no response. They've been trained like Pavlog's dog. You know <laughs> Let's what I all mean? say it together on three. Ready? One, two. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Skinwalker. <laughs> we have three stories tonight. Uh, story number one, I'm reading it like this so I can use the light. I'm not just trying to. Actually, you know what? Let's, bur Let's read this shit. Sassy, bitch. You're going right. to read it sassy? Here we go. Around March of my freshman year. No, sorry. Um, <laughs> around March of my freshman year of college, uh, which is March 2021, we had some interesting experiences with the paranormal. We decided to go look around at a haunted location to see if we could catch anything. On our way to the location, I had a bad feeling in my stomach because we had been there to investigate before while I was driving. And I turned around and went home because something was off. As we pull up to the dirt road, the pit in my stomach got worse. We headed towards a fork in the road and went down, down the right side where we found absolutely nothing. Just a bunch of people doing the same thing we were doing. So my roommate, the one driving, decided to try the left side before we left. As we turned down the left side, there was a black sedan driving around 15 miles per hour and swerving all over the road. Hmm. Now. We go to school in South Carolina, so we thought the person was just drunk. <laughs> Is that normal? <laughs> Apparently in South Carolina, you're just, oh, just drunk driving in a cemetery. <laughs> the person pulls to the right and slows down to a stop. What I'd realized was they never hit the brakes. They just came to a rolling stop. I tell her to speed past the car while telling everyone else to not look in the car. As we pass... I am the only person who looks in the car, of course, because I don't take my own advice. Hmm. Smart. I see a teenage girl, around 18, driving, with her hands at 10 and 2, with ginger hair, pale skin, and wearing glasses. I tell my friends about it, and the one question they kept asking is, 
was she alone? And my answer would be, I don't think she was alone, but she wasn't with anyone. And my friends thought it was weird. A few hours pass after we get back to our dorm, and I still can't stop thinking about it. At this point, it has come to me that she was super pale, like possibly gray pale. When I informed my friends of this realization of mine, they kept asking me questions. Then one of my roommates said, oh my God, look at this. And as she turned her phone around, I went white myself. On her phone was a picture of the same girl I had seen in the car. Hmm? I broke down in tears as I stared at the picture of the ghost girl who had looked like another living person would have. And I thought I'd been going crazy, but as she pulled up the article about the accident, the black sedan all my friends had seen, their eyes as well. This night had truly made me realize that the world works in crazy ways because after we had passed the girl's car, my friend who was driving was driving the speed limit the entire time, driving straight, not using her phone and driving at 10 and two while being completely focused, which she does absolutely none of the above ever. She usually drives 65 and a 45. <laughs> and because of this, I think this girl who had passed had been there to get us home safely. And she showed herself to make sure to make me, what? i sorry, I can't figure this out. She showed herself to make me, to make me know, to make, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, this shit was so good, and now it's like a Dr. <laughs> Seuss riddle. It's like this ghost girl is just giving her bars, like, <laughs> make sure to break the, the what the hell? <laughs> you, All right. you got it. Basically, got it's, it. I'll, I'll, I'll rewrite it. She said, she showed herself to make sure that I would get home safe and drive well. Mm. P.S., Below, I had placed a picture of the road we had seen her on. Roughly where the area is that I circled is the area I had seen her car in that night. What? So they not only saw a full-blown apparition, but a full-blown apparition driving a vehicle that matched the description of the girl and the description of the vehicle of a girl who had died in a car accident while leaving. And because of that, they slowed down and her friend didn't drive as recklessly as she normally would. Wow. Essentially saving their life. Wow. That is the synopsis wow. of this story. Okay, I have a, yeah, I have a lot of questions. It, it clarifies saying she wasn't a mist or a shadow. She was a solid figure and I have never seen that before. Wow. Can can we bring them on stage? I have yes. a, I have a ton of questions. Uh Bella Friesen, 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 Bella. Come on up. Bella. Get up here. Give it up, y'all. Uh Corey, you want to bump over a seat? So, right. Hello. Your seat right there. How you doing? Good. How are you all? Good. Uh, can we give her give her a round of applause, everyone? Yes. <laughs> Verbatim, based on what I read, is that accurate? Yes, very accurate. So you straight up saw this exact girl. How long ago had the girl passed? Did you like when you got to the article? Was this like she had just passed six months ago? She passed years ago? I believe it was in 2016. So five oh. years later, mm -hmm. does it ha were there any other reports of seeing her? Was this like the first time anyone had reported seeing? Yes, um, because the ghost we went there for is in that area. There was like a flash flood in like the 1800s. And it's reported that the there's, there's this woman that looks for her son that drowned. So that's what we went there looking for. But we saw nothing on the right hand side and went down the left. And it was complete accident. Didn't expect to see anything. Was the crash near where you saw her? So the dirt road turns into a highway, and it was as soon as that dirt road hits the highway. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, wow. has anyone reported seeing her since? Have you gone back to try and see her again? Oh, no, I have not gone back. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, she, but she helped you, right? She potentially, this apparition potentially saved you and your friends' lives. It's just in a very, like, sketchy area of South Carolina, so I just haven't gone back. Um, but the amount of spiritual activity in my dorm that year as well um we weren't really focused on going back either <laughs> oh so like stuff was happening after that after and before my uh dorm building was haunted what a great place for a ghost to haunt we always talk about like where would we haunt a college dorm yeah that'd be so much fun it the was, parties it was four uh college students that passed away okay i retract my <laughs> statement so do you feel as though that is who is haunting your dorm or those students or do you think it's relevant to anything else? Um, I believe it is those students. Um, and then there's another building that a, I'm pretty sure a demon haunts. Crazy things happen on that campus all the time. Like what? 
Um, my one roommate had a friend that lived in the other building and the door was opened by a doorstop and a chair and he had his hand on the door frame and the door came slamming shut on his hand. Pushed the chair and the door stopped right out of the way. Wow. I lived in Teal Hall. <laughs> oh, you went there? Okay. okay. <laughs> Thought you were just trying to just get her address. <laughs> <laughs> so d have you have you done anything to like open yourself up to the spiritual side? Yes. Um, ever since I was little, my family always thought I was pretty intuitive. Okay. Um, and not until a few months ago, I told my family I would see a shadow figure in my room. Mm -hmm. um, and I never thought anything of it, but they think it was a family member that passed. Um, other than that, because of you all, I went to Moundsville nice. Sick. Um, and saw and heard so much there. I had my backpack pulled. So I've been very more open to the paranormal. Now, have you ever asked this college for a discount in tuition for the apparitions and demons that haunted? No, I should have. I saw a demon in my dorm room. Wait, wait, okay, the way you just casually said, I saw a demon, <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Um, Elaborate. Also, was it just like a guy that no one liked or? No, um, it was. So I was in my dorm in my bedroom and the door was open and it was like 1.30 at night. Um, and all of a sudden I had my back turned towards the door frame and I was like, something feels off, like something's wrong. I turn around thinking it was my roommate and there's this black figure, like jet black. He was about like 6'5", mm. crouching down about seven feet tall standing and his fingers were like the Grinch fingers as they reached around the door frame. And the first thing I thought of was to scream. And did you? Yes. <laughs> and did anyone come to your rescue or hear you? My one roommate came. And, and as soon as she got in there, she saw nothing and I ran out into the hallway and no one was there. Has any other students had these encounters? No. Is there like a ghost hunting club at your college? I wish, I should start it. You should wow. start it. You, you actually should. Like, again, it would make you don't have to travel to ghost hunt. It's like our RV. You can just do it right where you are. Exactly. <laughs> I've never heard of like a car, you know, like a it, like a haunted car. If you think about it. Yeah. Because well, there obviously wasn't actually a car there or, you know, there was what you saw. Yeah. But how is that possible? You know, like the vehicle that that, you know, girl passed away in. How is she still? You know, when you hear about stories about, you know, people that passed away and then you see them like they're normally walking, you know, they're not normally in the vehicle that they died. Like, that's insane. So, but that I believe you, though. I 100 percent believe. And you. that also means that your friends and the driver had to have seen the vehicle because they went around it. Yeah. Like if I texted them right now, they would all say, oh, you mean the black sedan we saw? All of us, all five of us that were in the car saw that sedan. Why did you have the instinct to tell your friends to not look and then you went and did it anyway? Uh, you just wanted to hold that over them? Be like, oh, I saw the spirit girl. You didn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have full intention of not looking. Yeah. But something inside of me said, you have to look. Because when we got back to my dorm, I was like, maybe she was sick. Like, mm. maybe she was injured. Thinking yeah. of all the possibilities. But something in me said you need to look okay but what where did the instinct come from though to tell them to not look because anytime i see like a slow driver blocking traffic i tell everyone stare at the driver and make him feel really <laughs> uncomfortable and here you are being like just pass them nicely like where where did the instinct come from there you know there's something weird in this car and you shouldn't make eye contact i honestly don't know like just the feeling came over me to be like no one because one of my roommates in the car was petrified we forced her to go with us we're great roommates um, <laughs> and so she was already afraid so I was like don't look and my one roommate that was driving I was like speed pass like go over the speed limit like don't pay attention yeah and then I didn't take my own advice wow do you think had you not encountered that girl and had that incident where you ended up slowing down and driving a little bit safer something would have happened to you that night yes like do you think you would have been in a car accident yes why do you let that friend drive every time then? Like you literally were like, every time she drives, her hands are on like six and six, just down there, seat back, like music blaring over the speed limit. It's probably the intrusive thought, like, mm, like mm. if yeah. it happens, it happens. Like, especially on campus, yeah. the amount of money. Wait, what? If it happens on campus. Um, like you can sue them? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. okay, got it. And it would pay for. Okay, know, so here's how the ghost club is going to work now. <laughs> 
You're going to hire someone to be a ghost and they're going to cause accidents and then you're just going to sue the college. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Free tuition. You get ghost hunting experience. Sounds like a good deal. Sounds perfect. Okay. We'll get it sponsored by Geico. <laughs> it just made- <laughs> Perfect. We're like the headlights on, like the car was on, right? Like yes. taillights on, headlights are on. And you were able to, and how did they track down the girl? Like when your friend found the article and found the girl, what was like the search process there? Because to correlate those two things together is like remarkable. And like, so your friend just wanted to help figure it out and then just showed you the results and you were like, that's it? Yes. Um, I think, cause she's from the area. So she knew more of like the roads, the intersections, everything over there. I'm not, obviously. So I think she just was like, okay, we're gonna figure this out, make sure like nothing's wrong, nothing happened on that road or anything like that. And, cause I also kept saying, I was like, something on that road was weird, like there's something off. Um, And then she came across the obituary photo was the first photo I saw. What do you think would happen if you went back to that same place, but this time to say thank you. Mm. Because if you do feel as though it saved your life, do you feel as though if you went back, you'd be like, hey, thanks, anything would happen? Possibly. Would you go back? I think I would. Oh, that is a great question. Was she buried there? Do you know that? I do not believe so. But I think she was buried in like a local cemetery. Wow. I'd be very very interested to see what would happen if if you were to go back and yeah. I'm going back next week, so you I'll are? try it. Really? Yeah. Okay, go back, bring some flowers, say thank you, maybe some chocolates and a free membership to your college's ghost club. <laughs> I'll have to do that. Give her a job. Be like, hey, come to campus, stand in the middle of the roads. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just slow down and then stop. <laughs> yeah. Are, were any of your other friends that are in the car, like, were they already open spiritually? Like, do they already have, like, haunted experiences happen to them? Like, do you think that, Like, there's a reason why you were the only one that looked? Um, I think so. My one roommate, the one that was driving, um, she has oddly enough been possessed before. Casually said. (laughs) (laughs) What do you you mean she's been possessed? Can I just casually casually interject? (laughs) Yesterday I brought up that every single time we bring someone on stage, they're always not telling us half of the f***ing truth. They're always like, oh, I saw a little thing. And then also possession and levitation. And they, I tried to slash my friend's throat. This happens every story. And here we are. <laughs> There's so, just so much to tell. T- please, please tell us more. Please tell this. us more about your friend that is uh, has been possessed. When we were, yes, they're fine. They're fine. But when we were living in the dorm, um, we all bought, because of like the ghosts and the demonic entity, we all bought crystals like protection crystals and she had it in her pocket and we were sitting in the common area and all of a sudden she's laughing to herself and I was like that's weird um and she then like looked at me and she started making like weird jokes that made no sense (laughs) like like what was she saying like like she was making like frat boy jokes oh okay I was like that's weird okay and then all of a sudden she started laughing hysterically and like cackling and she looks at me and she goes, take this away. It's burning my pocket. And I was like, Carry on. you keep that. Do you need mine? Like, <laughs> And then all of a sudden we all like stood up. I went to go into my room and she stands up with me and my other roommate and she chases us into the bathroom. So I like slammed the door behind well, us. Girls always do have to go to the bathroom together. <laughs> She's like laughing and like chasing us to the bathroom and like I slam the door and she's like banging on it and still hysterically laughing and then she walks into the common area and she goes She was like I'm fine. You're I'm talking fine. about possession of a locust <laughs> land on your head. <laughs> That's a little Okay, carry on, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. She was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Continue. She was like, I'm okay, I'm okay, come out. So we all go out. And my one roommate was in the shower. <laughs> And she's like, what's going on? And we explain it to her. Wait, wait, wait. She was in the shower when you ran in the bathroom? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So you guys are just in there freaking out. She's like, what are y'all doing? (laughs) While you're here, can you get my back? (laughs) Um, And we go out and she goes, I don't know what happened. I just remember laughing. And then she said, I remember telling you to get the crystal. It was burning my pocket. Damn. What? Where's where's this friend now? Um, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Oh. At home. Are you still friends to this day? Yes. Did you like 
for did you just like casually just drop it? It's like drank some wine and went, all right, it's a study. I don't know. Like, did you G and O? We we kind of talked about it, but with what was like going on in our dorm, we were like, it happens apparently. Wow. <laughs> Is your college dorm haunted to a level of infamy where people know it? The same way like people know of like Penner. This is like a uh, like a well-known thing. At first we thought it was the entire dorm hall. And then we would be out at like the dining hall and we'd be like meeting new people. And they'd be like, oh, like what room are you all in? And we're like, TL 215. And they're like, oh, the haunted room. Oh. And we're oh. like, yeah. Your room was known as the haunted room. Yeah. And we were like, what? <laughs> And what room number again was it? 215. 215. Okay. I thought it was 217. I'm like, ooh, a little. Oh, yeah. 217 Stanley Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people knew our room as like the haunted room. Um, and apparently the year before, one of my friends down the hall knows the guys who lived there the year before. And they had done a Ouija board. Mm. And their college dudes, you they never have, closed you it. You got so many, you're like a little box of chocolates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and every time we crack one open, we got a little possession. We got a little Ouija board. We got a little, yeah, this is fun. Carry oh, yeah. on. So they closed, they never closed it. And so they said to her that they would see a little boy running around. And I'm like, I'm I'm moving out if I see a little boy running around. Yeah. Because um, it's most likely a demon pretending yes. to be a little kid. Yeah. Has anyone investigated like paranormal team properly come in and done any form of an investigation or cleansing or anything like that at your college dorm? No. Has anyone requested it? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> and I thought about the same thing and I actually reached out to Linda the ghost hunter Okay. Oh, yeah. and asked her and she gave me some ideas. Yeah, Lin Linda's not much of a, of a cleanser. Yeah. She's an yeah. investigator, although she does know some people that mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. So she was like, maybe you do like a, like a white candles. Are you Say still actively there? Are you still staying in the storm? No. Okay. Oh, well, that's right, because you just graduated March 2021. I'm still going there. I'm a junior. Okay. So do you know who stays there now? I can figure it out. I, I'm really curious to know if they've had anything else happen. Yeah, I could definitely figure it out. Let's figure this out, because then we've never... That sounds like a fun investigation. No, that sounds like a very fun Because there's all these stories, and like, would your, would your friend be willing to like talk to us too? Oh, yeah. All of my friends that have had encounters would definitely be willing to talk to you all. I feel like this is a really... I kind of want to do this. I, I, I think this would be a really cool episode to do. Is it I, a co-ed dorm, or is it just a girl's dorm? Um, well, it's going to be co-ed when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> the building itself is co-ed, but each dorm room has five rooms that hold like 10 people. May, may, mm -hmm. I, may I ask the, the, the students that passed away, were they male, female, both? They were male. Male. Oh, and they seem to be haunting the, the ladies area. Mm -hmm. Interesting. When we looked it up, the none of them knew each other. The wait, the four males that passed away did not know each other. Mm -hmm. Were they all together when this happened, or were these separate? They were separate separate occasions. <laughs> okay, we're making a video there. Carry on. <laughs> the wow. the one was shot in a bad like drug deal gone wrong. Mm. The other one had a heart attack. Mm. Oh wait, the, a college student had a heart attack. Mm -hmm, he was twenty one and had no like underlying health conditions. Was he on campus when it happened? Yes. Okay. And then the other two were drug overdoses. Wow. Yeah, but anytime we would pull up a picture of them or speak about them, knocks on the empty room next to us would come. Knocks on the wall outside because we were the corner. One time we cleaned the windows or the, uh, the mirrors in the bathroom. 20 minutes later, we all go in there to just see what would happen. And there is a penis drawn on the mirror with an M next to it. And one of the guys that passed, his name was Michael. Wow. That's a very frat thing to do. Yes, actually. <laughs> yes. Do you do you think it was one of the other spirits being like, Michael's a dick. I'm sorry he's doing this to you. Like he felt really bad that Michael Possibly, keeps harassing you. But I mean, at the end of the day, who knows? How long has it been known that that room's haunted? I believe the like the year before we got there too. Okay. Because okay. the guys were frat boys, so they told everybody pretty much what was going on. What I'm trying to put together to figure out is, do they have a connection with that room or are they in that room because they played the Ouija board there? You know what I mean? It, yeah, I mean that would Like be, it kind of conjured them to be in there. That's a good thing to investigate. Yeah, or if like when they passed away, their girlfriend was living in that room. Like, that's what like, I was that thinking. That kind of a, get a tie to it or to that area. Or they're just perverts. I don't know. Yeah. You know. I don't know, like they could just be like hanging out there. 
at the like towards the middle of the year we were like look like we're girls you all seem to be dudes no going in the bathroom anymore and did it stop yeah we were like if we're in there you cannot go in there wow but when we weren't in there we would hear like stall doors close or the toilet would flush and no one would be in there wow we we have to go investigate there yeah we'll we'll be in town where is where is this again what state south carolina south carolina Carolina. okay wait does that mean you drove up Yes. Oh. I live here in Virginia. Got it. Um, so I'm back home temporarily, but yeah, I did come back for this. Okay. Sick. South Carolina is also on like kind of our list of the next states to go investigate at because there are quite a few locations there. Yes. So this would be this would be very interesting to do. Yeah. And then we can start a ghost club when we're done. We'll we'll sponsor it. Okay, great. And then uh yeah, we'll make we'll make that sure. Sounds we'll, great. I really want to see competitive ghost hunting across colleges. <laughs> Well, you know what, what I mean? would that be like? I don't. I don't know. Maybe could you like simulate? Could you simulate ghosts? Do Maybe. you think that would work? They, they they have professional tag on TV now. You don't think they could do it with ghosts? I think they could. I mean, our school has. There's a bunch of schools that have like Quidditch. Yeah, Quidditch? exactly. Yeah. Quidditch. Our school has Quidditch. Quidditch. Yeah, Harry. Yeah, the, that's a Harry Potter game. Oh, you yeah. know that Harry Potter. I do. Reference. Yeah, you yeah, don't I know do. Death Eaters, but you know Quidditch. Yeah. Wow. So I think Quidditch. How, wait, how how do they fly though? <laughs> Oh, because it's haunted. Oh, yeah. They love it. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Seriously. Appreciate it. Really cool. All right. We'll definitely be in touch. Sincerely. That was incredible. That that, definitely that started one way and ended with my roommate got possessed and chased us into the shower. And we have five demon boys that haunt us. Four. 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 Possibly five. You ready? Yeah. Do you want to, you want to bring a little bit more energy? You want me to? Give give us uh, like a Nat Geo voice, <laughs> like a- like David Attenborough. Okay, give us like you know what I mean, or or like maybe like a Steve Irwin ghost hunting. Okay. I could try. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, okay, let, let me let me see if I could do this. Let me see if I could do this. Okay, my great grandparents. <laughs> that's still oh. British, dude. No, bro, that's that's still, that was that's more Australian. Same, no, dude, that's the same character. That was definitely more. No, Australian. dude, that's the same character. No, what, mate? See, my great grandparents, mate. <laughs> see, that's Australian. Is that British? Was see, thank you, I'm not really thank Australian. you. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll do it. Maybe, maybe go a little bit deeper of a tone, then you might sound a little not British. What if I, what if I did like a cowboy? Okay, you know? all right, just listen up, listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit! Okay, Corey. My great grandparents own a nursing home. Ooh, I like this voice a lot. The, the burned down. Okay, did in it a get fire. really hot in here? Oh, <laughs> oh, it did. It did. Okay, okay, cool, cool. It burned down in a fire in October. Dude, this is good, dude. Keep this going, dude. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had. I wish I had a banjo right now or something. <laughs> yeah. A ring of fire. In October of 1971. All fit. Okay, this has. This is no, a serious do it. story. No, do you, I can't do it. Commit. 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 Wait, hold on. Let's make sure. Gabrielle, do you care if we read this in a cowboy voice? No. There you go. You have permission from the writer of the story. All 15 residents died. <laughs> oh, okay, you're right. Oh, my God. Okay, carry on. Sorry. With investigators at first ruling it an accident. However, follow-up investigation dun, 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 determined dun, 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 that arson was the cause of the fire. Okay, this is this is really hard on my voice. I'm gonna read it normal. No, come on, do it. Commit, it, commit. Come on. You you always do this. You you have it. Come on, you can do this. And all of the other deaths were ruled a homicide. Fast forward, and the property was kept in my family's name, with my grandparents building a small ranch home over on top of the property. The foundation of the house overlapped was some of where the nursing home foundation was. Which is important to know later. That's what it says. It says, which is important to know later. This was the first house I lived in. And we stayed here for six years. I vividly remember seeing shadows, hearing noises that could not be explained. And constantly I felt watched. What? I'm watching your throat just like. <laughs> well, I, you're telling. I have to do Explain. it in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Explain. <laughs> it sounds like Elvis. Yeah. Should I just do it like Elvis is no, reading keep this? Going, now? Keep it. This actually sounds really good. Legitimately, this sounds really good. Tomorrow. I'm, I'm super into the story. Tomorrow's show, I'm going to be like, how are you doing, everybody? 
the basement was entirely too spooky. <laughs> and I hated being down there on my own. It had a TV and was a finished family room. But directly down the hall was my dad's office. And then a laundry room. I remember... Okay, I can't do this anymore. I remember a specific incident where my older sister was trying to come up from the basement and was locked downstairs. We could not get the door to open on either side. And neither of us had locked it. <laughs> and she swears, she swears up and down it was not shut behind her. Dude, you're really good at this voice. I, Am I? The fact that you get well, <laughs> I, I was born. I was born in Tennessee. Okay, so you know I got a little bit of country in me. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, y'all? Okay. She was. <laughs> he said, "At least he still has all his teeth." <laughs> Is that why it's Tennessee? Because there's only ten, ten teeth. I see. I see. There's yeah. only ten teeth. I yeah, see. Carry on. She was able to get out through the sliding glass door that served as another entrance. But we never went down there without the buddy system. Another terrifying experience I had was in my bedroom in the middle of the night. Like, this is getting hard, dude. This is getting real yeah, hard. Yeah, dude, it's getting me hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It keeps us going. It's oh, so no. Good. Stand up right now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I did wear sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I remember waking up and seeing a man with a baseball hat and a hood standing in the doorway. Turn a little bit this way. Other way. Watch his throat, please. I remember calling out from my mom, but that figure disappeared while also living in that house. Our house was struck by lightning <laughs> and it blew out all the TVs and some of the windows. Wow. That's actually insane. Yeah, that is lightning insane. blew out Dude, the I'm windows. really into this story right now. I, I'm, dude, I'm invested. Okay. This is great. Right, I'll keep going. I was so thankful to move to our new house up the street but that house continued to stay in the family. I was just going to say fam, but they wrote family, so I finished it. <laughs> After we moved out, my aunt and uncle moved in with my cousin, and we lived there <laughs> Yo, for five snort. years. You just snorted, dude. Was there a snort out there? Snort, can we Can we get a sound sample of that? There can we get a, a sample snort, of the snort? <laughs> 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 oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we get a fart sample? Okay. My cousin. My cousin. Wait, what? What? <laughs> that sounds like a, that sounds like a threat. You better watch out. <laughs> you better. She will fart. She will. She, she will spin her chair around and she and will fart. fart. She will fart right now. Imagine <laughs> arguing with someone. <laughs> You're getting in an argument with your husband. Don't make me fart. <laughs> Don't make me fart. <laughs> Marty looks so concerned right now. <laughs> Marty had to come get the angle. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get back. I'll get back, okay? <laughs> okay, I gotta be serious. I gotta be serious. All right, all right, all right. My cousin would always complain about feeling uncomfy. <laughs> and any time she was supposed to babysit us, we would ask my parents to let her watch us in our home, rather at the old house. We were that scared <laughs> when my aunt and uncle <laughs> decided to buy a new home. They sold our house to another fam, and it was finally out of our hands. Although, we still had to drive by it every day. The family that moved in had nothing but misfortune. Horses would go missing. I made that part up. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't say that. I was that. like, I where just... did you jump to? I was like watching you read <laughs> the along. The pigs were flying. 
<laughs> the bacon reassembled itself. <laughs> the bacon more. was always burned. <laughs> First, the father was working on his car in the garage when it fell on him. Oh my God. The car fell on him or the garage fell on him? No, the, the car. The, he was working under the car and it fell on him. Wow. Oh, wow. And he had to be life flighted to the nearest trauma center. Holy shit. It'll sound way more epic if you commit. <laughs> Come on, dude, you're getting to the good part and now you're going to cop out of the character? Let's go. And he had to be life flighted to the nearest trauma center. He spoke to some of our neighbors after the incident and said that he was a mechanic, so he would never get under a car if it was not securely proper. He was stunned that it collapsed on him. I bet he was stunned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet. Like, oh, okay. How did this happen? Wow. <laughs> a few months later, I was home on college break and heard tons of sirens down the street. The house was on fire! We walked, wow, the house was on fire, wow. We watched it slowly burn and the firefighters attempted to put it out. <laughs> I had an old friend who worked as a volunteer and responded to the scene. The fire marshal was unable to determine the cause of the fire. Can I pause you real quick? You're trying so hard not to snort. I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you just. <laughs> Can we get a? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I have a little bit of country in me, so I'm allowed. I'm allowed to talk. About it. Okay. This is really good. Okay. Good. Going. Yeah. All right. Good. Oh no! People are leaving now. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! They hate the story. <laughs> is it? Is it that bad? Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, actually, you guys aren't feeling good? Didn't like the voice. Well, I mean, we do have all this stuff. Yeah, it is smart it is to also, step outside. It is also hot in here. You don't got to blame back, me for it. Yeah, back, back, back to this. Fire marshal was unable to determine the cause of the fire, but stated it started in the back corner of the basement where the foundation overlapped with that of the nursing home. Who knows? I think the resident that decided to start the fire and murder everyone else is likely not a very nice spirit. Page flip. <laughs> Two lines. Just a little more. bit, just a little bit. I have not been back to that house in years, <laughs> but every time I drive by, I certainly feel creeped out. Bad vibes on that whole property. Have not had a ghost encounter since then. What does he also say? It says, also, I bought tickets for all my friends in my group. So contributing that my friends see spirits regularly and also has insanely deep sleep paralysis. She also had a demon follow her home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you. That was a great read. Can we, can we give him a round of applause? Thank you. Do you know? The, uh, do you bring them up? Yeah, yeah. Let's bring them. Let's get oh, them yeah, up that's here. That's right. We know who you are. Come on, uh, Gabrielle. Please get up please here. Give it. Give it up Gabrielle. for Gabrielle, everybody. <laughs> that was intense. When you submitted that story, mm -hmm. did you ever expect it to be read like that? No. <laughs> are you Honestly, mad at me? No, I, okay. I was great. Thank you. Great. Thank Did you. It justice. <laughs> okay, good. Is that the best way you could have had it read, or would you prefer a different way of reading it? No, it was dramatic, and I appreciated it. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Very there's good. A, there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, there is a lot to unpack. I, I think you you know the story better than I at this point. Yeah. I was, I was laughing eighty percent of the story, <laughs> unfortunately. So I guess just like I kind of just like tell us about kind of what was going on while you know you were there, mm -hmm. and then has there been any more stories that you've heard outside of what you've written down about that house? Um. Not that I can remember, but I just know, like, I was there for about six years. So growing up, we always had crazy experiences. And um, I just remember, like, the lightning striking our house was, like, crazy. I don't yeah. know. I've never had that happen, yeah. clearly. And yeah. I don't know many people that have. Um, but it was just, like, everything with fire. It was the weirdest thing. Um, 
and my great grandparents did own that and it was the biggest fire in our county's history and I'm from Pennsylvania so that's wow. where it happened yes yeah, so there was like New York Times articles and lots of different things um were going on there so yeah. to, to, to recap that opening line Mm -hmm. A fire in 1971 where 15 residents died and it was ruled arson and homicide. Mm -hmm. And that is the exact same property that everything else has happened on. Yeah. Cool. Just recapping that in case we lost some of that <laughs> throughout the reading of the story. Yeah. That is absolutely... And did do you know who committed the arson? Was that ever discovered? We, no. So there, it was one of the 15 people in there and we tried to narrow it down, but we never had like an actual culprit. Oh, wait, so one of the 15 people that passed Set away... Set that on fire and also, killed everybody. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is... That adds a whole nother level to it. Mm -hmm. And they never figured out who. No. Because huh. he died in it, too. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Has your family ever been, like, openly, like, you know, sensitive to spirits? Or has anybody no, ever... No, I would say, like, my sisters and I have, but... And my mom, um, never previously before that, but my mom would like acknowledge that there was kind of crazy stuff happening and my dad was away a lot. So it was just her and us. And yeah. so like we would think that my dad would be home in the middle of the night coming back from work and we would see like a male figure and then it was never, never him. Like he wasn't home from his work trip that time. So it was pretty crazy. Wow. Um, and we were talking about it recently. Um, I think it was like last Christmas and I was describing one of the figures that I saw and my dad used to, he was like four or five and he used to go down with my great grandparents and play at the nursing home with some of the residents and the person that I described, we had never had this conversation before, but he like was, he knew exactly who I was talking about verbatim. By the way, I described the figure. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So for your great grandparents, did they ever, t I mean, this had to have had a wildly traumatic effect on them and mm -hmm. then they still kept the property. Mm -hmm. Was it because they just couldn't get rid of it they just knew they couldn't sell it like I guarantee yeah I never met them but my grandparents said that they just didn't want to sell it um and they wouldn't talk about it so mm, yeah. yeah do they feel like responsible for it probably because it, their name was all over like the New York Times articles and things like that wow yeah that yeah. that is that's okay and then mm -hmm. this continued on when the house was built and then, so is it still in your family's name? No. Or it's not. No, it's no, no, that right, new family sorry. that had all that stuff happen to them. They bought it and they actually stayed. They're still there. Like they fixed up the fire damage because it didn't take out the whole entire home. It just like the smoke damage and stuff. They were able to fix it um, and they're still there. So I don't know if there is anything else going on, but yeah. Is anyone in your family like friends with them? Like, were they, you know, talk mm -mm. to them or no, they just sold it. So. No, they just sold it to them. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, like every time I go back and visit my parents' house, I have to drive by it and it's really creepy. You just like, get, I just like, get bad, bad vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I've been able to put all the pieces together because I honestly lost tr track of some of them during <laughs> your reading. I apologize. So now, no, no it's, it's, <laughs> I encouraged it. So now I understand. Mm -hmm. so the house burned on fire. And then it went to, well, you lived in there later. Lightning struck it, which typically causes homes to light on fire and then mm -hmm. the new owners. So there is something that is just trying to mm -hmm. burn this place to the ground, but a lightning strike. I mean, if you want to go with mm -hmm. the house, the property is haunted by the same person who caused the arson. Mm -hmm. For a lightning strike to target that house, if it yeah. is that person, that is a whole nother level of paranormal activity. Yeah. I never, I, I didn't think about it like that. I just thought it was like super weird circumstances right, that, that's and like why, unfortunate, yeah. but like that whole property just, I mean, even with the car falling on that guy, like it yeah. was a mechanic. It's just pretty crazy. But yeah. As soon as I'm putting those pieces together, I'm like, Oh, like mm -hmm. lightning typically can cause forest fires. Like it's very, very common yeah. to an entity that can essentially, like, I mean, I'm going to give a bad reference here. Pikachu just <laughs> Pika thundered <laughs> the house. Like it, that yeah. is at like an at that's mm -hmm. Thor level paranormal activity. Yeah. yeah. If you want to take out coincidence from the equation and let's give it the benefit of the doubt and say it's paranormal, that's insane. Yeah. It's like to have that. And that correlation never happened while you're living there. Your parents never kind of like tied that in that. No, we were like pieced this together way later. Um, and we were just sitting down and like my parents mentioned like, oh yeah, your great grandparents like had a nursing home on that property and it burned down. And I was like, no shit. <laughs> that makes so much sense. 
Wow. Yeah, just really awful. Like, I don't know if there was like 15 people haunting that property, but I just remember seeing like figures and like my sister got locked in the basement. We avoided the basement like the plague. Like it was creepy down there, which is exactly where they said that other fire would have started. But there was nothing that they could find. The fire marshals like there is nothing down here that I can determine like sparked a fire. Wow. And that's what overlapped with the old foundation. That's so wild. Okay, have you have you ever touched faith with or heard anything from the the current residents now about no, this house? I have not. No more lightning strikes or strange occurrences no. or pigs only, flying, yeah, like you mentioned. We only knew because of the news articles or like the sirens. Like I wouldn't have known if we didn't see it or read about it. So. And they don't know who caused the second fire. Nope. <laughs> Do you think the current owners are just like? I guess Screw let's just it. try and avoid it. Let's not think <laughs> about it. Let's not pay attention to it. I don't know. Now you have me curious. Like, I don't know if it'd be weird to knock on it and be like, I lived there when I was you know, younger. But You definitely should. And yeah. that'll terrify them for the record. If you're like, if you oh, just the, knock on I'll their door one day. I'll see a for sale sign next time I go back. Yeah. It's like they're gone. You could probably get a good deal on it if you want to buy it back. Oh, hell no. Just knock on the door <laughs> and be like, okay, so when I was living here, I'm all good. This, you just, you just literally just rattle off everything that ever happened to you and be like, yeah, anything for you? And they're like, no. And then next day they're gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I guarantee the new people living there are probably having very weird things happen to them. I, I, there was a dabble of information at the end here. Uh, this is my friend sees spirits regularly and also has insane sleep paralysis. She has also had a demon follow her home. Casual mention there. No, she's back there. She's back there. Come and, on, and, Rachel. And, would you mind talking to us about this demon that followed you home? <laughs> okay, come on, come oh, yeah, on. Get up come here. Come on and get up here. Get up here and talk to us about this demon. Give it up, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to move these chairs ever so lightly. Okay, what, what is, what is your name? Rachel. Rachel, um, okay, you had a demon follow you home I and did. your friend decided to volunteer this on your behalf <laughs> when you could have submitted a story. So are you mad at your friend currently for this? No. Okay. Please so elaborate. what had happened was, was that whenever I was at my aunt's house in the back room, I would get violently sick for absolutely no reason. I could go there completely fine, not feel any type of way. And if I went to this back room, I immediately felt like I was going to faint. Like I felt like I had a fever. I felt nauseous, sick, just like overwhelmed. I would have to lay down. So it happened over and over and over again. For some reason, I still decided to have a slumber party and stay. So we were asleep in the back room. It was bunk beds. I woke up around like 3 a.m. ish. We were laying there. Both of us had woken up and it was pitch black. I roll over to where the door frame is to lead out to the hallway and I see two red eyes. Like, hmm, perhaps that's not great. And I look at it further, and it's a guy with slicked black hair to the right, two red eyes, a tuxedo, about like, I don't know, maybe five, seven, standing there staring at me. So super tall. Yeah, great. Just abnormally yep. tall, like the exact Amazingly height that ladies tall. enjoy. Um, <laughs> so I was like, Hale, do you, uh, you see that guy standing in the door frame? And she's like, nope. And I'm like, okay, well, we're going to keep moving, I guess. So she got up, turned the light switch on disappeared. We thought nothing of it because I had seen ghosts my whole life. So I was like, okay, it's nothing serious. Mm. Went to bed, went back to my own home the next day, got in the shower, mid shower, the water, it's scolding hot. I had burns down my back for a really long time. Scolding hot. Oh, okay. I flipped the shower curtain open, jump, go to jump out. And he is standing in the shower no. or like right outside the shower. Mm -hmm. Thank you what? for exploiting your friend. This yep. is a lovely story. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just thought that was a little rude. Like, that's happened, not the time. What but. happened when you jumped out of the shower? <laughs> I ran right through him. Oh, you ran through him? Mm hmm Ran right through him, went out of the, the bathroom, made a left in my room, unlocked the door. Did you feel anything when you ran through him? Like, did you feel a rush of darkness, energy? Like, did that physically give you, other than an adrenaline, some kind of unknown, unexplained feeling that you've never had before? I don't think so because I was so overwhelmed with how literally singed my back was that like at that point it was just like, yeah, I just got to go. Like I had to move and seeing him wasn't as amplified as the story sounds as I see, saw shit all the time, but it was more of like a, oh, you're here. Like you've come back and then just got to get out of here. How close was he to you? Like, was it one of those, as soon as you hop um, out, you take one step and you're already going. Through? Yeah, no, like yeah. from if I was standing in the shower, the little edge and he was about right here. Foot yeah, away. probably like a foot and a half, two feet away. Wow. And just standing there looking exactly at me. Exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Still just. Yep. No emotion, just straight. hair, super tall. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Got it. Why, why do you think that would happen? 
Like, did you ever do anything that would open a portal? Or like? I don't think so. I hope not. But I've always, I've always seen things, things that didn't make sense. I always get like eerie feelings. Like driving into this town, I had a few feelings in here. Not so much so. There are like a bunch of people standing behind that door in the back. Um, <laughs> they're not real. I mean, they're there, but um, <laughs> they're not real. But no, it was more. It wasn't more so. It wasn't here. It was more so in town. I always get like a sharp chill from the bottom of my spine up to the back of my neck and it goes into like my shoulder blades and that's like my oh there's spookers here like chill it's not just like a average chill Mm -hmm. and that was more so in town and town's a little creepy it's kind of similar um to the lofters hall story one of the last places uh, the last place we visited when we were in ireland which is about like the uh, the devil's poker table Mm -hmm. it's very very similar that this guy just kind of showed up and looked very similar to that and then impregnated uh, one of the ladies of the home and then and then left and then that it resulted in her child being taken from her and buried in a wall but and didn't they lock her up as well and they locked her up as well but very similar description in terms of the hair the red eyes oh, uh, God. they described him as like more of a suit like tuxedo kind of a world so it's very very similar you th- do you that. think <laughs> this could have been like an attraction not like an attachment but like this entity Probably. actually liked you i don't know my dad always said that 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 our family just attracted things like we could just feel things we could see things things just kind of were around us so he would always tell me like places that we would go aren't necessarily haunted but like we just feel and see energies different than other people do i, I was more so referring to like actually like attracted to you like, like found as you a partner oh. Oh, like that um. because like in reference <laughs> to the loftus hall story right she ended up having a relation with this person that was never found again. Yikes. And they deemed as the devil. So like, that's what I'm curious to know. I have no idea. Cause something, you know, we hear of hauntings, but we never really kind of delve into why it was happening. And I always wondered if like, they're like, I like you, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be around you, like that yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah. It saw you once and then it followed you to the shower to be mm-hmm. like, hey, <laughs> So I don't know. It's just like a question, especially if you if you're commonly yeah. seeing something. No, I have no idea. Could be. Do you ever like see someone and then go, "Hey, wh- why? Why?" You just you just see him and go. Um, it depends. Like there was a woman who was actually part of my sleep paralysis, and when we moved from um one house, for actually right after that incident, we had moved, and she it was a woman in a white dress in my bedroom. I was at the bedroom in the back of the house, all the way down the hall, and she was just in my bedroom. She would not leave. I asked nicely. She wouldn't go. Um. So then I started sleeping out in the living room, and it was a my bedroom, a long hallway, and then the couch adjacent to that wall, so I could see right down the hallway every single night. And in my sleep paralysis, she would get closer and closer and closer each and every night until eventually there was one night she was right here, and then I never saw her again. Wow. Damn. You know you've done that to me once? <laughs> done what? Just stood over me for like two minutes straight and didn't move while I was sleeping. You, you don't remember this? No. It was one night after an investigation. You literally, like, I woke up and I was just like, and you were just staring over me in, in the hotel room. And you just, like, stood at me and I was like, Corey? And you just literally, and then you just turned around and went back to bed. Sounds spooky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. How long ago was this? Uh, This would have been, ooh, year and a half ago. What? Yeah, year and a half, year and a half ago, right before the overnight channel officially like started. This was during Twenty Five Weeks of Haunted. Oh, this. Oh, oh, was this around the same time when I said that Corbin woke up in the middle of the night? Yeah, and was staring at me. Yeah, and then I was like, you know, you've done that to me. Yeah, so it was happening to everyone in the hotel rooms. Sorry, I just made me realize that one night that I thought you were gonna murder me in my sleep. <laughs> oh, no, and this was also during. I know. Okay, I know exactly what time area you're talking about because this is also when we had someone else that was sleeping in a room with me and Corbin. And he said that Corbin and I yeah. both, while we were sleeping, he was getting out of the shower and we both sat up at the exact same time and we were just staring at him. Yeah. And he was like, ha ha, like you had one guys, like you're trying to scare me. And we just stared at him for a minute. And then we both just went back to bed and never said a word. That was during the UK trip with Ryan. Yep. Was filming that yep. trip. That's yep. right. And that was also the only trip he ever filmed with us on. <laughs> <laughs> that was I wonder why. Like, I'm good, dude. What the? F- okay, <laughs> I forgot about that. So, do you ever feel like, like she's putting you in danger? <laughs> no. No. She, like, no. She actually saved me today because as I was getting in the car to come here, my tire was flat, 
Mm. And this Jeep doesn't ever break for anything. It's pretty durable. Mm -hmm. So um, called her up and she came and picked me up because otherwise I wouldn't have made it. Wow. Yeah. And you guys gave me a 66 bracelet. So thank you for that. Oh, wow. Unfortunate. But I made it. (laughs) Unfortunate. Was it? My flat tire? I don't know. But she never puts me in danger. Never. So, no. Wow. That's a good, that's a good, a queen. That's a good, that's a good bond then. Have you guys ever ghost hunted together? No. No, but I made her download an app on the way here so that when we walk to our car slowly later, that maybe we can get an EVP or something. Oh. Yeah, run that up. All right. Have you tried convincing her to go uh, to do some paranormal investigations with you? Well, I told her we need to go back to her old house. She's been telling me these stories for like a year now. We want to go go back to your old house. Mm -hmm. You should. That'd be really cool. Just set up a Tesla coil and just like let it go and see if anything strikes the house. Oh my I'm going to get far away before I do that, but absolutely. Sure. I mean, honestly, that's a, that's a crazy dude. If you can document a paranormal spirit, just like literally raining thunder and lightning upon a house. <laughs> yeah. Just tie cool. a bunch of kites to it or something. I would be really, okay, wait, actually, I'm now I'm <laughs> curious. Do you have any idea what these 15 people look like that have passed away in the home? Have you ever honestly seen the documentation or reports? Mm-mm. You should go there. And if you see anyone, describe it as best you can, voice record it, bring it to a sketch artist. Have them draw it, see if it lines up. That's true. That would be a really crazy way. One, for you to see at what extremity do you have these abilities. And then two, if it's if it lines up, that's pretty incredible. Oh, wow. Like yeah. the man that started the fire. Or just any of the 15 people that you don't know who it is. You know what I mean? Any of the 15 people. I mean, people. glowing red eyes. That seems like something evil. Well, that would that could be a separate. That's a separate. Uh, oh, okay. Thing. Okay. It's yeah. It's her. It's her. Uh, it's your family's house has a fifty mm-hmm. people. Her demon okay. story is separate. Yeah. Okay, you're right. You're yeah. Right. I mean, I have done that kind of somewhat before, more so in like what they preferred to do. So I had gone to my best friend's grandfather's funeral, and it was delayed because of COVID. Um, I had never seen the man. They didn't talk to that side of the family. They didn't have any photographs there because they didn't really like him. It was a strange situation. So I had no clue what the man even resembled. Um, so we were at the funeral parlor. We do the thing. I had to go to the bathroom, but the bathroom was in the basement and I'm standing at the top of the steps and I want to go down to the bathroom, but there's somebody down there, a spirit that isn't evil, but definitely doesn't want me to come down. So I'm like, all right, respect that. I'll keep it moving. But as I went to go turn away, my chest like got super, super tight. It felt like I couldn't breathe. It was like a punch to the chest. And then I started, it's going to sound crazy. I started to like hear trains like train whistles like I would get images of like a conductor and I could like see the smoke running off and it it was just it was weird the way these images were coming in and the way I could like hear these things and so obviously did not go to the bathroom we left and went to the luncheon and um they always laugh at me because I always have to go to the bathroom so I got up from the table came back and I was like well I wanted to go back when we were at the funeral parlor but I couldn't so I had to wait until we came here I was like there was somebody downstairs I was like he made my chest hurt really really bad and I kept like seeing trains. I don't know why I kept seeing trains. And she was like, Poppy died of COVID. And he had two rooms in his house dedicated to his train collections. And I was like, okay, well, that was Poppy. And he wasn't the nicest guy, so it makes sense. Wow. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Huh. What are, you, what are you looking at? I don't know. I keep There's seeing something like a... The I keep seeing something There's people walking back there. Those are humans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are humans. They're, they're we heard something in the back before. Okay. Yeah, they're just humans. Not everything's paranormal. Sometimes it's just security. <laughs> oh no, I was trying to see if there was like, uh, like something reflecting. Right, what are you, what are you, what are you whispering about right now? What are you looking at and whispering about? Hmm? I just, I didn't put all together that all these objects were right behind us. Oh yeah, you've been only staring at them for the whole show. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I keep trying not to make eye contact with Annabelle because Tony told us not to. Who told you not to? Wasn't it? What's his but last that's name? Not Tony the real, that's not the real Annabelle. Well, I know, but I still don't like it. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to stay away from it. <laughs> okay. Well, I just kept seeing like a red light. Bulb. I don't know. I was thinking that something was like reflecting off of maybe like a like a picture frame or something. But there's obviously nothing right there. It was weird. It was just like a red line of light. I kept seeing it in the corner. But uh-huh. there's nothing there. Nope. Just a security guy driving around right now. Okay. Not everything is spooky. Sometimes <laughs> it's just people doing their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both. Honestly, for, for appreciate you sharing the story. If you go Thank back, you. please let us know. Yes, we will. I would love to know what happens. Wow. This is what we were trying to accomplish was like a bit of comedy with a bit of seriousness and go back and forth and stories. So it's, it's a hard line to walk. Trying to bring some comedy uh, to some heavy stories, but yeah, it's, it's it's a funny mixture too. Yeah, it is. It is like we're both you know like ghost hunters, mm-hmm. but you're also like a stand up comedian, and I'm like a ballet dancer. 
<laughs> so it's like, let's see what we get. Seriously, guys. Yeah, go ghost hunt. All right. Thank you all. Thanks, Thanks y'all. Thank you.